Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, I'm here to tell you, don't quit because of rejection. Today, I'm going to Sunset Mall, and I'm so excited because I have free movie tickets from Donating Blood. Two, to be exact, and I really want to see this movie, The Art of Racing in the Rain. What's even better than that is that I'm going with this super awesome girl that's actually read the book before I even knew it was a book. But in order for me to find this person, I had to get rejected nine times. Here are some of the tips and tricks I use to deal with rejection and use it to my advantage. Tip number one, choose a movie you actually want to see. From personal experience, I feel like guys tend to choose movies for dates based on the date. What this does is it gives the power of the experience over to the date the control of your emotions over to the other person. If the date goes good, then that's good. But if the date goes bad, then not so good. I have been stood up at the movies before. And I remember when I was stood up, I chose a lame movie. So even after paying for the tickets, I didn't want to see the movie. I just wanted to go home and cry my eyes out. Just kidding. <laughs> When you choose a movie you actually want to see, even if the date goes bad, you can still enjoy the movie, hence win the day. And that brings me to tip number two, ask in person. I get rejected on average one to five times every day. But that's mainly because I ask upwards 10 to 20 questions on a daily basis. The majority of the questions that I ask are in person because I want an answer then and there. The problem that I see with asking over the phone or in a message is that you have to wait for a reply. And that waiting period can be very thought consuming, especially if you like the person. Those thoughts build up momentum to the reply. Again, if the answer is yes, that's good. But if the answer is bad, that's really not that good. So my recommendation to you would be to always ask in person if you have the ability to do so. Not only do you get the answer then and there, but you also dramatically increase the chances of that answer being yes. YouTube, half the battle is just showing up. And if you ask in person, you already fought half the battle. But if you're asking over the phone or in a message, did you really travel to that halfway point? Which brings me to tip number three. Script what you're going to say. Now, you could always say, hey, would you like to go to the movies with me? And sure, that's fine and all. But you could also say, hey, I just donated blood, got two free movie tickets, really want to see this movie, The Art of Racing in the Rain, would you like to come see it with me? Personally, I feel that putting energy and liveliness into the conversation increase the chances of that conversation going well. Increase the chances of that other person saying yes. So don't be afraid to be yourself. I'm pretty sure the person you're asking has heard the whole, hey, would you like to go to the movies with me? Not so sure if they've heard, hey, I just donated blood and I have two free movie tickets now because not many people do that. Which leads me to tip number four. Don't quit because of rejection. If you really want to do something and you quit because you got rejected once, they win. But if you don't stop asking, don't stop putting yourself out there, you win. Because in that process, you're building self-confidence and self-esteem. I literally had to get rejected nine times before someone said yes. And I'm really glad I did get rejected nine times because one, I got to build self-confidence and self-esteem. And two, if any of the first nine girls had said yes, I wouldn't have been able to ask the 10th. Which brings me to tip number five, just ask. I know it sounds really simple, but gentlemen, if you don't ask, the answer is going to 100% guaranteed be a no. If you do ask, that percentage increases, especially if you do it in person. And YouTube, the worst thing that they can say is yes. So be bold in your decisions. That's the video for today. If this video made you want to ask someone to the movies or helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm really trying to get to 100,000 before I am 25. 23 right now. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me some of your own tips. I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. And most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible.
I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.